Gagan is switching his job. Today is his last day at his current organization. Divya asks Gagan whether it was his last working day at his current organization. Gagan says that he was getting a good break and it was his first job, but it's been 4 years now and so he thought that it was the right time for a change. Divya then asked Gagan that what would he do with his provident fund. Gagan says that he was thinking of withdrawing the money and going on a trip. He would then open a new account in his new organization and deposit the money there. When changing jobs, if Gagan withdraws money from his old organization's provident fund, he will make a big mistake. His provident fund is only four years old. If you have not completed five years of service, then you will have to pay income tax if you withdraw money from your provident fund. The money withdrawn from PF before completing five years of service is added to annual income. Tax has to be paid on this amount according to your tax lab. If Gagan wants to avoid paying tax, he will have to keep his PF account active. As soon as he joins a new organization, the new company will start depositing money in his PF account. Gagan's universal account number or UAN will remain the same, but there will be two accounts displayed in his PF account. You do not have to transfer your account. You can simply provide the UAN to your new organization and keep the same PF account active. A salaried person has only one UAN. This account will continue to operate until retirement. Please note that your old account balance will not be linked to your new account. The contribution from your previous employer will continue to be shown separately. Therefore, people like Gagan will have to merge their old and new accounts to add the fund lying in the previous account to the new one. The process of merging PF accounts can be completed online. Once the account is merged, you will be able to see the entire amount and earn interest on large sums. There will be no need to log in separately for different accounts. Plus, you will not be required to update different accounts. Having a large sum in one account will also make it easier to withdraw money in future. Understand the entire process step by step how a PF account is merged. To merge PF accounts, first go to the official EPFO portal epfindia.gov.in. Now click on online services. Select one member one EPF account tab. Your personal information will be displayed on the screen. Enter your previous organization's member ID, old PF account number and UAN. Then click on the get details option. Now enter the OTP and proceed your request will be submitted. After verifying EPFO data, your account will be merged. After this, you can see the total deposited amount in a single PF account. PF is beneficial in accumulating a large fund for retirement. A part of your earnings is deposited into the PF account. With this amount, the salaried employee receives a lump sum at retirement. He then receives a fixed amount every month as pension under the Employee Pension Scheme or EPS 95. This pension will be given for life. However, it is necessary that contribution is made for 10 years in the PF account. Only then after the age of 58 the pension will be given. Those who withdraw the entire amount from the PF account before completing 10 years do not get the benefit of pension. In Gagan's case if he withdraws the money within 4 years there will be a break in the PF account. After switching to the next job he will again have to complete the 10 year cycle. After getting cognizant with all these benefit, Gagan not changed his decision. Now he will not withdraw money from his provident fund account. He will merge this account with that of his new organization. This will give him a large sum of money at time of retirement. The special thing is that this amount will be completely tax free. Among all the investment options available in the capital market that gives a guaranteed return, the provident fund is best option. Currently, it gives an interest rate of 8.1%. There is no better plan for retirement than this one. Therefore, you should make every possible effort to avoid withdrawing money from this account repeatedly to make your post-retirement life a happy one.